as our Adirondack adventure draws to a close, I find myself with only one poem left to compose. We headed out to capture the events of our last day, discovering ivory and ochre reeds that were painted a frosty gray. The lake had transformed into a mirror, reflecting in it a faint but warm apricot sky. With wisps of fog in the distant trees, it was most pleasing to the eye. Our last stop was a lovely old stone church, steeped in tradition and myth, only to learn it is the final resting place of local scholar Paul Smith. St. John's statue stands a silent vigil watching over his beloved church under a colorful canopy of maples and firs, along with the ever-present yellow birch. The past six days have been very hectic, and we're all in need of some rest. So I can think of no better way than to say, till next time, and may God bless. We split up this morning. Sam brought Peter to Paul Smith Vic, while Bruce, Mark, and myself stopped at Jones Pond. It's such a peaceful morning. Join us. Good morning. Last sunrise here. It's got some fog. We are all getting set up here. We're hoping that this over here is gonna to start to light up, right up in this area here. Hopefully it gets a little more vibrant, but uh, time will tell, it's time to get shooting. As we got on with our morning, Sam and Peter were up the road at Paul Smith's Vic. Peter wasn't with us for the first few days and missed that area, and it sure is gorgeous there. There's so much inspiration and beauty in the Adirondacks, and one of the highlights of this series was enjoying the work of my friends. Here's Sam and Peter's work while spending their morning at Paw Smith. Enjoy. Light and fog were wonderful over the pond this morning, but we still didn't have any fog in the Deadwoods. Do you guys recall back in episode four when I was stealing Mark's shot and we were hoping for fog? Go. Front leg was down here. Oh, man. Hey, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> well, as it turns out, I received an email from a viewer of the channel, Don Case who was at this same location just a week prior to us, and he got the fog that we didn't. So I asked him to share. Nice image, Don. Thanks for supporting the channel and showing us the Deadwoods and Fog. During the making of this series, one of the more difficult tasks we're finding creative ways to share images from five photogs and still try and keep engagement while moving the story forward. For those of you who watch weekly, you probably know by now that I strive to offer meaningful content with substance while also considering my viewers' time. It's always been important to me and sometimes time itself 
is what a person needs to reflect and recharge. But much of today's fast-paced media fails in delivering those qualities. The viewers on this channel get it. They're looking for something deeper, authentic, and meaningful. To my viewers, I say thank you. gentlemen this is our uh this is our last morning man it's been a great trip yes it has we're good we're good, good job. Yep. nice i think we all got some good shots oh yeah. yeah today was a great morning for it yeah bruce would you move your hand off my ass <laughs> really <laughs> and mine too <laughs> i had to run <laughs>